the data structures question based upon the tree data structure they are talking about a complete binary tree with seven nodes so what will be the structure of this tree it is complete so every node will be having two children like this and there are just seven nodes so this will be the tree in this tree let a denote the set of first three elements obtained by performing a breadth first search starting from the root so let us call this root r from this root if we perform a bfs then we will get a set a of the first three elements so at this node r when we perform the breadth first search what is the nodes we will get let us call these one two three four five and six so starting in this root r and performing a bfs what is the set of first three nodes that we will get so definitely r will be one of them then after that we will be visiting this one and since it is a bfs so we will go level by level so this level has to be completed first hence after one we will be visiting this two so this forms our set a of the first three elements obtained by performing a bfs and in the similar way they are saying that this set b denotes the set of first three elements obtained by performing the dfs from the root node itself so if we perform a dfs then that represents set b and what are the three elements that we'll have first the root of course and then in dfs what we do let us say if we visit one first then after this one what is the next node that we'll visit the children of one and not the children of root so we can visit either three or four next so there are different sets we can get for this it can be r1 4 as well or it can be r and instead of one we can also visit this two first so it can be r2 and then next can be one of these five and six which are the children of r so we can have r25 or we can have r26 so these are the different possible sets b that we can have so now what is the next thing they are saying the value of this modulo symbol a minus b what does this represent this this is not modular actually it is talking about the cardinality of the sets we already know the cardinality of both sets a and b is three both are having three elements so if we take the difference of those two sets then for that resulting set what will be the cardinality that is what they are asking so if we take the difference of these sets a minus b then what the result we'll have in all of these we are having the root r all four if we consider then all are having r so this will definitely be gone and then if we consider these two then they are also having this one with them so for these two cases the difference set that we will get is r and one are both present but this two is not present in any of them so in that case we'll get that result as two and if we take the last two sets b then for that a minus b will give us this r is present in both so that will be gone when we take the difference then this 2 is also present in both so that will also be gone by taking the difference of two sets what do we take the element which is present in a but not in b that is what we mean by a minus b if a and b both are the sets and we are performing this subtraction operation on them then we will take those elements of a that are not present in b so here r and 2 both are present but this 1 is not present so in this case it will result into this 1 so whichever we consider the cardinality of this set is always going to be 1 whatever representation of set b do we consider whichever a minus b do we take the cardinality of resulting set is always going to be 1 and that is what they are asking us hence the value of this cardinality of set a minus b will be 1 so that is our answer